The Springfur Alpaca is a new mount coming in 8.3 and it's a little bit tricky to get but it looks great. If it wasn't for flying mounts being a thing I'd probably use this myself because the way it runs and jumps, it's stupid little face, I really do like most of the things about the new Alpaca mounts. But in terms of how you'll get this mount yourself, you'll want to first of all go through the initial quest chain coming in 8.3, this will be to aid Magni and Rathian and eventually you'll find yourself in kind of like a phased version of Uldum where it's been assaulted by one of the three different people who can assault it at the time, it doesn't matter who's assaulting it as long as you're in the version where it is being assaulted, so there'll be 120 mobs and it'll be current content. Once you're there, if you fly around the map you'll eventually find a friendly alpaca this alpaca will have a daily quest for you and you'll even see the little daily icon on your mini map not your main map only your mini map and then you'll be able to feed it now there are six confirmed spawn locations for the friendly alpaca so far on the ptr and five of them i were able to confirm myself and the other one was confirmed by pretty good sources over at the secret finding discord but right now will be a map up showing you the spawn locations it'll be marked by the blue dots on the map so that's where they can spawn and the sixth one, the one I wasn't able to confirm, had a little bit of a controversy, well not controversy, but discussion behind it. And that was the one at the Cradle of Ancients. The reason for that is because that spawn um, has two different phases. It has the dried up original phase where we've not quested for Alden before. And then it has the nice lush version where it's full of life and water and plants. And the alpaca was originally found in the phase with life. But thanks to the people over the secret finding discord we've confirmed that it can spawn in both variants so it doesn't matter if you've ever quested through original Uldum and thanks to Narisa from Wowhead also on the discord and Yu Yu Lee uh, those two in particular for figuring that out and making sure that we know that it can spawn in both versions of the cradle. Now I fed this friendly alpaca for seven days and every day it was the same daily quest which is alpaca it up. And then on the seventh day, once I handed in the daily, instantly after a normal quest popped up from the same alpaca called Alpaca to In, and I was able to instantly get the mount from that. Now it's unconfirmed if it's going to be seven days for everyone. It could be that it's an RNG amount. I highly doubt that, but so far I was the first person to get it on the realm that's known about anyway. So it's unconfirmed if it is seven days for everyone, but I would imagine if it is RNG, someone else would have gotten one within one to four days by now. And that would have been able to confirm that. So I'm going to say it's seven days of feeding it. It seems like a, a number that would make sense. I mean, seven days is a week. So we're going to go with that it's seven days. But if you don't get it on the seventh, then keep in mind there may be an RNG element to it for the alpaca in quest to appear. Now the tricky part about the friendly alpaca is it's not always there. It sticks around for about 10 minutes after it spawns and it seems to have between a three to six hour respawn. The shortest confirmed respawn was three hours and most of the ones I found were about six hours after the first one. Multiple people can feed the same alpaca though. So what I would recommend doing once the patch drops is keeping an eye on the looking for group for people sharing their friendly alpaca spawn and you know just have the map redder so you know where the spawns are going to be and in the comments down below sorry the description down below will be a list of waypoints for you to use just so you're able to find the different spots a little bit easier so you know where the alpaca can be now you know how many times you've got to feed it the only thing you don't know is how you go about feeding it and this bit's fairly simple there's going to be an item called gershal greens and you'll find these near the main river of Uldum just fly up and down the river it's a little tiny bush and if you have herbalism it will allow you to track those and you'll find them a little bit easier but there is an absolute ton of them especially down towards the dungeon at the bottom I found a crap ton there and the map I showed earlier the red dots are actually where I found Garshell green spawn so as you can see there's quite a lot of them you're going to need at least seven of these but you only need one per day so as long as you have at least one in your inventory at all times you're good to go and then you just want to be flying around and either hunting down the friendly camel or sorry the friendly alpaca spawns or as I said making use of the LFG and then just keep going at it until you do eventually get the mount as I said probably a seven day thing but it could be RNG and it could be that one of your hand-ins will eventually proc the actual quest as I said though I'm gonna go with it seven days I could be wrong and also keep in mind there could be more spawn locations these are the only ones that we've confirmed so far from PTR testing, but I have done a lot of flying around all of them, hours and hours and hours, so if there are any more spawns, I doubt there's many more, maybe one to two, 
but I could be wrong on there's 10 more, you know? But either way, that is how you're going to get yourself the reins of the spring for alpaca. If there's any updates that need to be done, I will do them on a sticky comment down below, but this should be the core information that you need to get yourself the mount once the patch goes live. So, thanks for watching guys, look out for more videos coming soon, and if you want to keep up to date on my findings and random mount stuff and all that kind of jazz, then check out our Discord server too, there'll be a link to that in the description as well. See ya!